What's up guys? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. I'm back today with the FlightScope Mevo Plus Limited Edition to show you guys a stack of new software updates that have been released. We're going to give you guys kind of a first look overview of all of these and talk about how you can utilize them to really maximize an experience. I've been doing several different things that's really awesome. So first thing first, let's just talk about everything that's kind of coming to the table. So this new listener session, I was actually just testing that out. I had FlightScope FS golf for pc that's what you're seeing here and then i had fs golf for ios which i also have over on my ipad running and you can enter the session of pc as a listener so if you're a coach or a trainer fitter whatever it may be you can have a listener mode going on where you're looking at different data so pretty cool that they've added a listener session um, swing training we talked about that before um, not only do they have swing training but they also have uh, range balls that they've added so that's another update that they've added um, you know I've done swing training if you haven't seen that video with the stack system and the Mevo plus that integrates pretty cool that you can do that um, they have the environmental and trajectory optimizer I want to show you guys that software it's really cool but I'm also going to show you this new windowed mode I've had a lot of people ask like you know talking about multiple windows and different data you can display well wait do you see this so let's go ahead and just go over to the software if you guys are looking to purchase a FlightScope Mevo Plus um, make sure you check out the description and pin to the top of the comments is a link that helps support the channel along with the discount code I appreciate that guys but you can see we're connected if you look in the upper right 53 percent battery plenty to do a quick demonstration here what's the difference between play mode and full swing um, play mode is if you don't want things synced to the cloud so if you're just warming up or hitting some balls just use play mode uh, full swing session though is going to give you obviously max capability we'll go into that today um, you know i'm set up as limited flight seven feet unit to ball uh, flat no t surface height don't need to worry about that this was a big one that i wanted to point out to everyone so it doesn't matter if you're just starting a new session I want you guys to calibrate every time. Notice how that light is very bright. Well, I have a very bright light because I'm getting impact. So you need a lot of light for impact, but you need to calibrate as well. So I'm actually just going to drag this up and down once and you'll see that it adjusts for this session. So even though it, it kind of saved my settings, I always every single time will move this and just make sure that everything is right where it should be. That light is now balanced. It's not, you know, overexposed. So it's going to be able to see really well. And then I'm going to hit next setup verification. I do suggest that you guys do this every time you can see it really wants a minimum of 300 lux in a three foot radius. If you want to be able to get the impact location, we'll take a quick shot. And you're going to see that I have sufficient light. That was in the dead center of my mat. And I have zero degree horizontal offset. So this thing is like perfectly aligned if my ball is dead center of my mat. So it doesn't get better than that. So I suggest you guys, you know, do this every single time. Environmental uh, mode, we'll just leave that at standard C level. I'm going to demonstrate something for you guys here in a minute. And then we'll go uh, me as a player, lob wedge. And then you'll see I'm going to select RCT. I'm using an RCT ball today. So first thing first, I just want to hit a shot for you guys. And that way I can demonstrate uh, some data options that I think are just really cool. So let's say that I'm with my wedge. I'm trying to work on a little cut that I've been working on. So we'll see if we can hit that. Oh, the only problem with that is, is that it was kind of a little bit of a miss. So I feel like that was a very thin shot. All right, so let's see if I can verify that actually by going over here and opening up my three little dots and then going to impact location. Whoa, that was a big miss. I need to be working on my impact. Well, notice in the upper right, you can see where it's a little pop out. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hit that pop out button and I'm going to select my trajectory view. So I'm back on my trajectory view. I'm going to grab my camera and I'm going to show you guys something really cool here. So you'll see, I actually have the iPad down in the lower right. I'll show you that here in a second. And then I have my computer monitor actually synced with my projector. But if I go up above, I can actually have impact. So I'm going to go up and actually change something for you guys to show you this is customizable too. So you could have a heat map going on if you want to hit multiple shots. Um, you can throw up different data up on the third screen if you want to. Um, and that's all by utilizing this little, and I'll just make sure you guys can see that, this little pop-up button right there. 
So that was something I had to show you guys. I mean, really, really cool that that's available to have, you know, data now on multiple monitors. Um, I like using windowed mode. So if I'm moving things around, I can, you know, move around FS Golf for PC, whatever it may be. Um, so now I can go down here and I can say, all right, let's see if we can hit a little better shot. Well, that was better. That was better contact. That was better launch. I still hit my little cut. And so what a great way to work on your game. Now, let's say that you want to work on your environment. So I'm actually going to now in the upper right, see where it says weather conditions. So that shot just went 87 yards. All right, kind of like a standard, not, you know, full wedge for me, but let's call it 90% or so. So I open up environmental optimizer and I'm at normalized right now. I could go to custom, which allows me to put in any landing height or altitude or temperature I want. Landing height is something I wanted to point out to everyone. You know, I think that's very powerful. If you were like going out to a course that had like a, let's say a par three, it's this little hundred yard par three, but it's, you know, 80 feet downhill. And you know, you've never hit 80 feet downhill and you want to practice that and your landing height. And you can actually work on that. So it's really cool or uphill shots, but this location, is actually really awesome. So notice I actually entered a location already. You can see it says Keystone. I love the Keystone, Colorado area. You can actually add a location manually, all right? And you just do that by finding it on the map. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion. Just wherever you're going, you can select a location. Um, and then once you have that, yeah, I, you can see I have <laughs> Nebraska in there, but we'll go back to Keystone. And you can see it's 27 degrees there. And what's cool about Keystone is, is the base is like 9,000 some feet. So this is gonna have a major effect. Even though it's 27 degrees, the ball will still carry further. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Now we're at Keystone, Colorado. I actually selected, I think it's called the Ranch Course, which is right there. And now I'm gonna hit another wedge. There we go. So look at this 92 yard shot now carries 103 yards. And it doesn't even do just that. It tells you the roll difference. It tells you the total difference, the lateral difference. You can add wind. Um, there's just a lot of different things that you can do. Um, now, there's more than that because when I go to the iOS version, which I'm actually going to, let's just do a quick screen record. Three, two, one, there we go. Now in the upper right, you'll see the four boxes. I'll let this just load that shot really quick because I'm doing a screen record. There was four boxes. Notice it now says trajectory optimizer. We're gonna select that. Now I would find this very powerful for driver, for instance, but it can work on all clubs. So in the upper left, see where it says uh, 70 yard shot. I took a 70 yard shot on the iOS software. And now I can say, well, notice my spin was 8,000. They actually said that the optimal spin is about 7,000. And look at the distance that's changing as I'm changing the spin. Notice the distance that changes when I change the vertical launch angle, or maybe the smash factor because this is all going to change the flight of the ball. Now, notice launch. Launch is really cool. So you can actually see the 2D view completely change the shot shape and how high the ball would go. So you could just be practicing launch and you know see what difference it may be. But I really think that for a club fitter or an instructor, um, and if you wanna personally work on your driver, uh, I think that it'd be really cool to see what a two degree launch does to driver maybe that's a video a separate video that we do and what you know 500 rpm less on a driver does you know if you spin the ball at you know 3000 and if you got it down to 2500 with a proper fitting you know, get that proper shaft in your driver wow you might pick up another five ten yards that you never had and you can you know look at all that data and the effect right inside of this trajectory optimizer so very cool stuff i wanted to show that to you guys um i mean honestly this software is becoming very powerful in so many ways. You know, the multicam that we've showed you guys. Um, and then if you haven't seen that video I did of the AI uh, tracer 
that they have. So that, that's really cool. I actually have a short in YouTube where I was, and it's on the Instagram as well. Um, so check out my Instagram. But um, basically, you're standing behind with your phone or just have it on a, a, a tripod, and you hit a shot, and it does the live trace on the video. Um, I mean, it's it's really cool stuff. I think that that's kind of just like a cool factor. I was saying it might even something be where you could just have some fun with social media, share with your friends, things like that. But uh, they're really adding a lot of fun things, you know, that people might find, not just you know all of these data centric you know game improvement things that they have so um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know anything else you want to see down in the comments below and stay tuned we'll have a lot more coming soon